everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's Scroll Saw project video, we have a holiday themed project by Steve Good. It is now the first week in December, and that means Christmas carols are playing everywhere on the radios and throughout the shopping malls and in stores. People are getting their Christmas trees out and decorated if they haven't already done that yet, and getting Christmas lights out and getting presents wrapped in preparation for Christmas Day. Um, the project I have celebrates the true meaning of Christmas and Steve Good has designed this nice nativity set again the true meaning of Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ but here is the pattern this is the quarter inch version there's actually three different sizes of this same project same design available in the pattern pack you download off Steve's website but this is the quarter inch version and we're going to stack cut it and make two at one time but we're only going to finish one of them in this video and I'll finish the other one later Again, it's three different sizes available of the nativity scene, and that is quarter inch, which is what we're doing, half inch, which is the biggest size, and then the smallest size is eighth inch. I made the eighth inch project off camera, and it is really small, very tiny, great way to test your skills, cutting out something small over on the scroll saw. As you can see, it fits comfortably in the palm of my hand, but we've, I've already made that one, and what we're going to do is cut out this one and assemble it in this video. Again, the pattern is already attached with clear packing tape. So let's go drill the few pilot holes we need over on the drill press, come back to the scroll saw, and get started. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of our pilot holes. And I'm adding a few more than necessary to do all these stack cutting pieces. And over here on the scroll saw we are using number five reverse tooth short tooth scroll saw blades they cut extremely well through the Baltic birch plywood and there is one tab piece which is what I'm cutting out now and that is for the palm tree to slot down into and stand up but I add the extra pilot holes so I don't have to actually cut into the wood I can start on the inside and just follow right along into each individual piece As I said at the beginning of this video, this is a Steve Good design, and if you want to try this project of any of the three sizes that are available, you can download all three patterns in one pattern pack for free at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of my future uploads and also browse all of my past uploads. Also, I would really like you guys to follow me over on Instagram. I'm way more active over there. I try to post at least twice daily and use the story feature to show you guys what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis out in the workshop. Here we are cutting out the final three pieces, which are the figures of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. These are smaller figures, and just take your time with them and you'll be fine. Each piece has a little bit of veining work in it, where you just take the scroll saw blade in to a separate line, and then back it out, and then continue along the main cut line. Cutting out Joseph here. And we, ha we have him completely cut out. We will be able to move over to the workbench and start finishing this project and assembling it. Removing all the paper from the wood and separating the two projects. Again, I'm just assembling one in this video. And I usually use a palm sander to sand everything but I opted to hand sand everything with this 100 grit sanding pad here just because the pieces are so fragile and I didn't want the palm sander with its aggressiveness to actually damage one of these small pieces so again I just went with hand sanding and then I got my hot glue gun out and let it get hot and then I started assembling everything adding the back to the base there and I know a lot of people don't like to use hot glue to assemble projects, but this piece is not going to carry any kind of weight. It's just got to support itself. And hot glue is one of those things you can use out in the shop all the time for jigs and fixtures or to just temporarily hold something together. I'm 
but once we get all the figures and the palm tree and everything glued on and let the glue set up for a few minutes the project will be complete and here we have the completed quarter inch Baltic Birch Plywood Desktop Nativity. I think it turned out real great. It has that awesome 3D effect that I like in wooden projects. I think it turned out real good. It sanded up nice and smooth. Of course, I did use hot glue to assemble it over on the workbench, and that was just for video purposes only. You can, of course, make this and use wood glue to assemble everything, but then you have to take into account clamping each individual piece how they are and then waiting for it to dry then coming back taking the clamps off putting more wood glue on it clamping that up waiting again so it just made sense for video purposes to use hot glue I think hot glue is more than enough for this project it's not going to have any type of load bearing weight it's just going to sit it fits comfortably in the palm of my hand and again you can put it up on a shelf and just display it through the holidays or even display it year round as I said at the beginning of the video, I've already made the eighth inch project. So now I have the quarter inch project and the eighth inch project. I don't have no half inch material on hand or I would go on and make the biggest version, which is the half inch version. This is the one we made today was the size in the middle. I think it turned out real good and it's a great way to represent and show the true meaning of the holiday season and the true meaning of Christmas and that is the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you learned something on it. I hope you all have a happy and safe shopping season and I hope you all have a happy and safe Merry Christmas. But until next time guys, that's about all for this video and remember if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.